Welcome back to Tightwad Workshop. Back in March last year, my friend Pete bought this garden shed. I've assembled a few sheds before, so I volunteered to help. Pete lives 400 kilometres away, and it took until December before I could get some time off from my job to pay him a visit. I won't have time to set up camera shots while working on this job, so I'm just going to use this cheap GoPro clone in time-lapse mode. Its internal battery is pretty weedy, but this USB adapter and a 4 amp hour power tool battery should work just fine. I started by nailing some 6 meter planks to the tops of the trestles. We then unpacked the boxes and counted all the components using the assembly manual. We decided to start off with a small end wall section. The metal sheets are held together with screws, then metal edge pieces go all the way around to hold the panels together. Once we finish the panel, we laid it on the ground where it's going to be needed for final assembly. Then we moved on to the second end panel. We knew what we were doing now, so this one went together faster. Next we started on the long rear panel. The trim pieces were more complicated for this one, so we spent quite a bit of time reading the manual. Once we finished, this one was also set down on the ground. The final panel was the most complicated, so we stopped for a think first. This panel needs to have spaces left in it for the doors. I used a 5 second time lapse interval for this footage, but I think it's a bit jerky. For tomorrow I'll reset the camera for a 1 second time lapse. Once again, we lay the finished panel on the ground where it's going to be needed tomorrow. Next, we assembled the portal frame components. We did as much of this as we could on the trestles, because working on the ground hurts my back. I laid the trestles on top of the long panels, in case there were strong winds overnight. We then pegged out some string guidelines and finished assembling the portal frame. Then we drilled holes in the concrete slab and bolted it down. It's now 7pm and time to quit for the day. <coughs> this footage was shot using a 1 second time lapse. I read the assembly manual for a while, then started setting up a trestle to assemble the roof beam. The roof beam is made from 8 pressed metal sections and held together with about a million screws. I needed to put it on the ground to get the two halves to align, but then I was able to finish the job standing at the trestle. After a bit more study of the manual, some young people arrived to help with the assembly. The long back wall is attached to the end walls using screws and corner brackets. The action will all be around the other side of the shed now, so let's move the camera. fit in the roof beam. The 
sunscreen is important. We needed to add some more screws in the bottom of the door frames. I'm drilling the holes, Pete's driving the screws. We agreed that his Makita tools were superior to my Azito Einhell. Adding the first roof sheets and using them as a guide to square up the walls. Obviously Pete doesn't climb ladders, so we each work to our strengths. Putting some silicon on the first fiberglass skylight sheet. It was only about 31 centigrade, but I'm old and fat and feeling the heat. Lunch delivery for Pete. I generally don't eat lunch when I'm labouring like this. Finishing off the roof panels was just repeating that earlier process. There's the second skylight. And another cool down break. Now I'm fitting the roof trims while Pete gets started on drilling holes in the concrete slab for the tie down brackets. Just fixing some problems with the ridge capping. Pete's also behind the shed, passing tools to me. Another rehydration break. Pete's still working on those holes in the concrete slab. They put up a good fight. While he does that, I'm dismantling the trestles and packing some things away. Putting the bolts in the first hold down bracket. Drilling and bolting the remaining hold down brackets. Backing up the last of the tools and we are done. 
We've now finished the majority of the shed. Pete will assemble and fit the doors at his convenience. I had a much smaller load for the trip home. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Tightwad Workshop is filmed in front of a live studio audience.